Hi guys, Dread Dan here. Um, I did a little more prep work on the Balsam Jaegers, fixing to start putting some paint on them finally here in a minute. I also did the Panzer IV E that I talked about earlier that John sent me. So I got that done, did it African Corps style. So I'll show you all what that came out, turned out looking like. Ah, love roses. My roses got pretty messed up in the storms the last uh, week or so. So, but I got a couple nice ones here. Well, not not as good as usual, but this is about as good as they come out after getting slammed by hail and rain for three or four days. But I got plenty more buds coming out, so hopefully uh, those will be fine. Okay, enough about horticulture. Let's get to the good stuff. So here's the Falser Jaegers mounted on their one inch uh, zinc fender washers. And here they are with the Tamiya Gray Putty. Now the heavy machine gun crew I mounted on a Gale Force 9 60 millimeter base with a magnetic underside. There it is with the Tamiya Gray Putty. A couple different views. And here they all are together, ready to paint. Next step to prep them, I just used Formula P3 Black Primer. Now you old salty guys just kind of roll your eyes and ignore this for a minute, but you newer guys, uh, here's how to spray prime. I prime from below first, from an angle from below. And then I prime from an angle from above. And then I spin the figure one more time and prime it uh, from directly from the side. And that gives you nice good coverage. Show you one more example here. And once again you can see even for the priming I use my ubiquitous painting plants. Once again first from below. And from above and from the side there you go he's all set here's what they look like all primered just let them sit for a little while and dry then you can get your white paint you can use white or off-white um, ivory. In this case I'm using Vallejo Pale Sand. It's a nice bushy brush with soft bristles. Get most of the uh, paint off. What you're doing, you're getting the, the water out of the paint there and you just you got a dry brush. What you let, you're left with is mainly just pigment and this dry brush in a downward motion. You can dry brush at angles but, may, uh, but always, even if it's an angle, always brush downward because the idea here is to leave the shadows I do this just to highlight the details on the figure and also to leave the natural shadowing. One more time, get most of the paint off. Again, you old veterans out there, please just bear with me. Downward, don't go up or upward because then you're defeating your purpose of leaving the dark shadows. Okay, here's the heavy machine gun crew. Same thing. It's nice downward strokes to highlight all those details. So this this uh, type of, of priming prep is particularly useful on units or figures like this that have a whole lot of details and tiny little details and straps and equipment and stuff on to help you pick out the equipment easy. So there you go. Here they all are. Dry brush with the uh, pale sand and they're ready to paint. But that's for another video, and I'll be doing that today, actually. Now moving on to the next project. Here's the Flames of War 15mm Panzer IV-E that John Waterloo 745 sent me. 
uh, just primed it gray first. The idea here is uh, I was going to paint it as 15th Panzer Division, 8th Regiment, Africa Corps, and uh, they received at one time five Panzer IV-E replacement units directly from the factory, so they were gray. Didn't want to paint it actual, prime it actual factory gray. That'd be a little too dark for what I was looking for. So I just painted it gray and then used Army Painter Skeleton Bone and sprayed it real lightly because what I want to do after it's uh, sealed with Flocal Figure Flat, sometimes the uh, underneath layer tends to bleed through a little. So I wanted it to look like it, what actually happened with it when they, when they got to North Africa, they, were, they got a quick spray of the desert tan color. But then of course as the paint oxidized and thinned out and got weathered, of course some of the uh, factory gray from underneath it showed through. But I didn't want the factory gray to be too dark showing through. I didn't want it to be overdone. So I just started with the uh, the uh, medium gray primer and then just lightly sprayed it with skeleton bone. And then this is what it looked like after I gave it a wash with Citadel Agrax Earthshade. Then just gave it a overall dry brush with Vallejo Pale Sand and then used a MIG Black Soot Weathering Powder on the gun muzzle and back by the engine exhaust. Also painted a few of the little details and painted the markings and added the brush hair for the antenna. And finally, I just glued some sand and rocks onto the tracks and onto the base, and then sprayed it with uh, local figure flat, and that's it. All right, y'all. Take care and uh, drop me a comment if you get, if you get if you get time. Ciao.